So you're not so dependent on men. Like people, he allows that to, to happen. So he, you know, he has me in a corner where you know what? Now you have to just come to me. Now you have to spend time. Yes. And utilize this time where you don't have, you know what I mean? All these friends, all these people pulling you different places. Like God has made you for a reason, so you can get stronger in your walk with Him. Because when you're not strong, then it's going to be easy for you to fall. You right. know what I mean? And these are tests that you're that just thrown your way. And it's like, are you going to pass the test? Failing, honey. Are you going to pass? And they're going to continue to come. And they're going to continue to come. That's the thing about him. He's not one of those teachers like, you failed, you failed. No, you mm. failed. You got to take that <laughs> test over again. <laughs> over again. Got, as got. many times. <laughs> <laughs> just to encourage you because I feel like I was literally just you not too long ago um once you get sick and tired you'll be sick and tired yeah. and you won't even you won't turn away like I didn't understand what people said when they were like when you're really tired you're gonna be done oh. yeah. when you're tired you're just gonna be like I don't even want to date anymore yeah. God just tell me what my husband's supposed to be like mm -hmm. I'm gonna go over here in the corner I'm gonna read I'm gonna just be over here and I'm gonna work on what you want mm -hmm. me to do and then after that he'll like I think he like just increases your contentment mm -hmm. and then he starts revealing to you certain things because then he's like okay now you're ready now I can give you a little bit more insight because now you're not going to try and do it your way and try to um date these different people when I'm like look I need your attention mm -hmm. but I've, I, I I literally was just literally <laughs> I don't like to put years and months and stuff on like that because that would tell too much of my business. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hear you. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, Trust me. Uh, you want, is wanting, wanting even, sorry. No, it's fine. It's not easy going to, going to a new place. Like, I am from New York. But when I came down here, literally, I was a virgin. I came down here for school. I had don't talk to me, don't touch me, don't do, like, I'm not into it. Just leave me alone. I was here for school, and that's what my focus was. My focus was getting through college. Mm -hmm. I need a career. I need to do this. I need to do that. I met my son's father. We strictly friends. We worked together five years. <laughs> Ain't did nothing. I ended up with him just one night because... After a while, the attraction built to the point where I couldn't live without him and he couldn't live without me. And even now, it still kind of hurts because I feel like I lost my best friend. Mm -hmm. But you need to get to a point where you're comfortable with what you're doing by yourself. Mm -hmm. You just need to find something for you and God. And that was it. I went to church. I went back to my room. I sat there. I studied. That was it. Might talk to my mom, might talk to my niece. Even if nobody picks up, go and pick up a book. Sometimes it's just like, it has to be that easy. You have to avoid the temptation. Mm -hmm. Because it's always going, always mm -hmm. <laughs> going always. to be there. Men aren't going anywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to say, oh Jesus. <laughs> I feel it, but just like Heather said, sometimes you just need to talk to him. And there'll be a whole new round of tests that'll come in the next level anyway. Mm -hmm. Hold you around. So you much harder. Let's go ahead and pass these. <laughs> get these out the way. Because it's another test of waiting. You just got to think, like, Lord, I know God has someone that looks fine. And oh, this is the 90%. <laughs> this is the 90%. I know God has 100%. Like, you know what I mean? Do you want the 90 or so. you want the 99? I want the one on one. Honey. <laughs> okay. The one saying one on one. I hope so, because. I'm sorry, not to be shy. I can't be married to no friend looking home. Like, <laughs> you see, yeah, one right. thing I'm learning in this season, as God is revealing the details of my husband, is that he is going to give me the desires hey, of I'm my heart. Sure, yeah. And he's very adamant about that. Like, he's what he's revealing to me, he literally even had someone speak into my life. He's attractive. Mm -hmm. He's this. He's that. Da -da -da. And I was like, well, come on and come through then, God. So, I, like, really just believe God for what your heart's desires are because he mm -hmm. knows you. He knows what you like. And if you trust him in that area, he'll give it to you. Just like when we trust him in our careers and say, God, don't give me no crappy career. Right. What does he do? Gives you the career that was the desire of your heart. Well, what did you say? If he trusts you. Ooh, I did say that, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Right. He can't Ooh. give his gifts to just anybody. He That's true. To trust you. That's a big, 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 big one. Thing. Big thing. So we one. want all these gifts, but we're not trustworthy. We're not trustworthy. He has all the gifts, 
He's a, he's a, he's a great big God. But we we fall in every time, every, and he's just watching us because he gives us free will. Yeah. So he's just like, all right. So he's probably looking down at me like. But I still love you. <laughs> but I still love you. Oh, oh, you went right. Okay. <laughs> he's like, oh, okay, angels. Just take her back around and one more time. Yeah, one, two, one. Okay, we're going to start over. Give me a sign. All right, so the sign says, don't The sign says, stop, say. Take her back home. The sign says, stop, not yield. If you yield, you still can go. It says, stop. Oh, you're going to keep going? Okay, I got you. Let's go over here. Maybe she didn't get a date or the 20th time. But yeah. That's how it is. Yeah. It is. That's why I said, like, I'm, this year, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try it. So, I'm glad now that I finally joined the church and I finally, you know, I'm starting to meet more women. Love y'all, but not that way. And, you know, like, it's just, it's just better. It's just, each, with each time, it gets a little bit better. Because I can't keep up with the Morgans. I'm sorry. They be in Atlanta. They be in New York. They be in Florida, Jamaica, Antigua. Listen. I'm like, Alicia, you want a sorry girl? I'm in Florida. I'll be back in a week. try to do it this way but then when you have someone that you love right there physically there it's kind of like I kept need to push God to the side with the um, boundaries I wanted to set so God was like you know set up a place in the south 